Hi, my name is Seher Sami. My research supervisor, Dr. Gregor Wilbring. I have a research partner, Chiara Salvatore, who is presenting a different portion of our research. Today, I am presenting on the impact of neurotechnology films on student viewers' professional practice. One of the roles of artists is to evaluate social developments such as scientific and technological advancements using art as a tool. An example of this is the Biofiction Science Art Film Festival 2019, which used the theme Future Body to examine how neurotechnology shapes the future of the human body, mind, intelligence, and society. In addition, an artist may perform these roles in relation to science and technology, like strong the ethics and governance of said domain. Thus, the Biofiction Science Art Film Festival is also an example of how art has the ability to influence and impact society in their professional practice. Based on this information, the research questions revolved around what are your thoughts about the given film thinking about your profession you want to go into. The objective of this qualitative study was to understand the impact of film festivals and the opinions that may arise concerning science and technology, specifically in relation to neurotechnology and disabled people. Another objective of the study was to investigate the impact of the six films and the connections science and technology have in professional practice particularly professions where individuals work predominantly with disabled people. So to give some background information, in this qualitative study, the purpose was to examine the opinion of students within a disability studies class surrounding six films that were winners or runner-ups of a biofiction film festival. For each of the given films, students were asked about their thoughts and how it would impact their future or current professional practice. Our intended outcome was that the results of this research will inform those involved with film festivals slash other forms of art science and technology, such as neurotechnology, and other individuals involved in these spheres on the impact these films have on the viewer's professional practice. Furthermore, the data collected was analyzed using the social responsibility theory. To answer our research questions, students from three asynchronous held 500 level classes taken by third and fourth year undergraduates were asked an open-ended question as to how the film impacted their future profession or current professional practice within a disability studies class. These students were also provided a link to the six films of the 2019 Biofiction Film Festival. The collective responses were downloaded in an anonymized way and imported into Atlas 8, a qualitative data analysis software for thematic content analysis. I then separately coded the data with a codebook used to define codes and continuous dialogue between coders. An agreement with my research partner, Kiara, was high in relation to the chosen codes. As for our results surrounding the question of professional practice, students most often noted that the films made them feel they have a professional responsibility toward a specific task or action, as well as how the technology and science depicted in these films impacted their future or current work in various ways. Students also specified their opinions, like whether it could positively impact their future slash current profession. To conclude, findings suggest that these films themselves do not elicit differentiated thoughts on the impact of neurotechnology in professional practice, and has also suggested that discussion sessions after may be a valuable tool to mediate this. I wanted to thank the URS for giving me this opportunity to present my research. I also want to acknowledge my supervisor once again, Dr. Wilbring, and my research group, the WOPAC, the Department of Community Health Science at the University of Calgary, and as well as the funding for this project was provided through a grant from the Government of Can Canada's Canadian Institutes of Health Research Institute of Neurosciences, Mental Health, and Addiction. Thank you so much for listening.